welcome students today we are going to start with the second chapter theory base of accounting in the previous chapter we have done what is accounting and what are the definitions of accounts accountancy etc today we will be taking the discussion further as we know accounting provides reliable and appropriate information to various users for the purpose of decision making for making the information meaningful reliable and comparable for the purpose of inter firm and inter period comparison that means between the two firms and within the same firm for various period we have to make the accounts like this that they are possible only with consistent policies which are applied by the organization if the policies are not consistent we will not be able to make a proper comparison there is no discipline in this world without sound theoretical base for this we have to follow certain principles rules concepts guidelines and conventions why we have to follow these things in order to bring uniformity and consistency for this purpose icai that is the institute of chartered accountant of india issues accounting standards which are formulated by accounting standard boards of the icai as we know there are generally accepted accounting principles which are accepted by all the accountants all over the world now the principle means a general rule which is accepted by everybody and the gap that is generally accepted accounting principles rules for the business environment are made to bring uniformity in the accounts for everybody like historical cost is verified by the receipt which you take so this brings objectivity in the accounts now this is acceptable by all but if there is a market price it can be different for different people for different markets so that is not verifiable so gap says tell us the rules which are acceptable by everybody now these principles are evolved over a long period of time which is based on past experience customs and usage customs means the traditions however these principles are not static static means ek jagah pe sthir rehne wale principles are not static they change with the change in the legal environment social environment and various needs of the users now what is a principle it is a combination of concepts and conventions now we must know what is a concept concept is the necessary assumption to the accounting practices and convention is customs traditions and usage so principle is a combination of both the things there are some concepts and principles and there are some conventions also now let us see the first very important concept the business entity concept in this concept we are told that business is different from its owners if i am starting a business i am contributing the capital it will be treated as a liability for that business because business owes it to me so that will be treated as a liability so if i give money to business it is a liability for business and if i withdraw money from business it is taken as drawing by me so it will reduce my capital so i am different and my business is different right let us start with another very important concept 
that is money measurement concept. Now, this concept tells us that we will record only those transactions which can be measured in terms of money. That is, we deal with paisa only and nothing else. It means, if the organization is having hard working people, creative people, it will find no place in the accounts. Why? We know they are very important to us and they are contributing to the organization and we are earning profit from them. But whatever cannot be expressed in money cannot be recorded in the accounts. Now, this is a limitation also because we know they are contributing, but still we are not able to record. So, this is a limitation. We also do not record the physical units like kilogram, acres, tons, liters, etcetera. Because in accountancy, we convert these kilograms, acres, tons into money for the purpose of recording. Because you know, in accounts, only money comes, nothing else. There is one more important point. We also do not record change in prices, that is inflation. If the prices are increasing, that means our assets value are changing, but we are not able to record it because of that historical cost concept. I told you just now that we record only the cost which is verifiable for the purpose of objectivity. Now, if the prices are changing, which do change with time, but we are not recording it in the books of account. Another very, very important and basic concept is going concern concept. In this concept, we assume that business will continue for a fairly long period and it will not be liquidated in the foreseeable future. Jitna future hum dekh sakte hain, tab tak business will continue and we have no idea that we will be reducing the scale of our business or we will be liquidating it in the future. And that is because we are classifying our assets into long term and short term. Long term assets are those which give benefit for a fairly long period like plant and machinery, buildings, etcetera. And short term assets are those which are to be consumed or changed within one year like debtors, stock, cash, etcetera. Now, purchasing the asset is in capital expenditure because we use this asset for more than one year. Whatever is consumed in this year will be charged from the revenue because it is consumed in that year. So, we will charge it from those incomes which are earned from that asset to get the correct profit and whatever is remaining will be carry forward over its useful life for the future because it is going to give benefit in the years to come. So, the next concept is accounting period concept. This concept tells us the span of time when financial statements are to be prepared. To know the profitability and profits and losses, we must prepare our financial statements in time. We should not make it after 20 years when we know that we are lost. So, we must know our financial position of assets and liability and profitability within one year. So, within one year we have to make our accounts to get the desired results. As we cannot wait for long because financial decisions has to be taken at regular intervals. Moreover, as per the company act and income tax act, financial statements must be prepared in one year to pay the taxes and all the legal formalities of the company law to be complied with. But there are some exceptions. Sometime 
we require interim financial statements. Like in case of retirement of a partner, we must know what we have to pay to the retiring partner in between the year and some companies are required to publish their quarterly results those which are listed on the stock exchange. Now, this is a company law requirement which has to be fulfilled. Now, let us see what we have gained during this discussion. I am giving you multiple choice questions. Let us see whether you can do it or not. Think over it. If during the lifetime of an entity, the financial statements are to be prepared, it is according to which concept? I am giving you four options. A. Conservatism. B. Matching. C. Accounting period. And D. None. Yes, it is accounting period. You are right. Let us see another question. Business enterprise will not be liquidated in the near future is known as which concept? Please see the options. Going concern, business entity, monetary unit and none of the above. Oh yes, it is going concern. Again you are right. The next concept in this line is cost concept. It means assets will be recorded at the purchase price that is the historical cost and it includes installation cost also. Till the time asset is installed at the premises of the business, all expenses will be added to the asset. Now, this is verifiable because it is based on historical cost. So, it brings objectivity, but it does not show the true worth as the market price keeps on changing and we are showing the old cost. So, students in this class, we have discussed about the principles, rules, concepts, etcetera and we have started with this chapter number 2. In the next class, we are going to continue with these concepts and other multiple choice questions for you. Until then, goodbye. Thank you.